this bad but i feel a lot better about everything now so we're getting it done and looking forward to eventually sailing again y'all um much rather be doing a video of me sitting on the beach drinking a beer floating around in a dinghy and just enjoying life than this but you can't have the goods without the bads right so and if you do have all goods you never appreciate them without these bad times so when we're sitting there on the beach this is going to make it that much better just remembering all this so all right All right, guys well the weather's kind of had us messed up now for the past week it's been raining storming haven't been able to do anything on the boat but i got this uh cool product i found online i've been wanting a line cutter <clears throat> so it's a uh, zinc with a line cutter built onto it thing is super heavy duty I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there but yeah gonna go ahead and put that on even though that zinc's still good, I'm gonna replace that zinc too. So we'll have two zincs on there with a little line cutter. All right, well, that was easy. Nothing is sharp. So maybe this is gonna save us from a bad day one day. Oop. Again, y'all, if you're looking for a, want to replace your zinc and want a line cutter, check them out. Sea Shield Marine, made in the USA. They have them in zinc, more aluminum. And you can see here, they've already started filling in some of the spots. So the deeper blisters they haven't done yet. This is just where it was just really small ones, um, just barely under the paint. So they're just going ahead and filling those with thickened epoxy. And all the deeper ones, they're actually going to lay some glass in there. So, um, they started on that the other day. Oh, shit. Sorry, garbage came behind me. <laughs> Didn't even see it. So, um, but they started on that the other day. And you can just see them all where they've already started. Poor baby was in some bad shape. I think she needed a haul out, and that transducer was just her telling us. So, but we'll be back out here tomorrow doing some wax on the haul, y'all. So, Well, stopped raining for a change. Sun's out. Cassie is redoing my crooked lettering I put on. My Pensacola, Florida was really crooked. And then um, we did a new rose. We go there with Delta Dawn, because Cassie wanted some color, right? Well, I wanted a rose that didn't look like a microphone. Uh, apparently my rose looks like a microphone. The stem wasn't long enough. So, what's... Uh, but yeah, tell me in the comments. Does that look like a microphone? I don't think that looks like a microphone. The stem's too short. Yeah, the you stem is a little short, but long stem rose. Well, that was a short stem rose. I never heard of that. I, the, I cut the stem really short, trying to make it live longer. But Cassie's working on that, so we'll get some after that. After she gets the Pensacola straight, and then that rose replaced. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna start waxing this hall. We tried it once before, but the wax kind of sucked, or maybe it was too hot. I don't know. So I'm starting up front using some different stuff, and we'll see how it goes. Um, even if it doesn't look the greatest, at least it has some kind of protection on it. Um, the paint's not great anyway. It's kind of beat up, but you don't really notice it when it's in the water, but when it's out the water, you notice it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and over there, you can see where it was beat up from on a pile, and over there in Carabelle before we got it, so. Uh, I don't know which storm it was. But yeah, it kind of got beat up on some pylons over there, but that's all right. It'd be shiny, scratch paint. <laughs> so even if it's not that shiny, it don't matter. I'm just trying to protect the paint, so. And she's working on that. And like I said, got the line cutter all hooked up. And that's all done. Things sharp as heck, got the new Aluminum one on there, aluminum anoid, however you say that. Um, yeah, sacrificial anoid. 
so because the one's zinc the other one's aluminum and that's what we're doing today it's not perfect doing it by hand you can see a couple little streaks and stuff in the, the polished wax but that's all right a million times better than it was like we're just doing it to protect the paint so it don't get any worse so not to really beautify the boat i mean it's nice that it's shiny but it's really to like i said protect the paint so much better florida's a little crooked but you know keeping it real over here she did a good job. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she showed y'all already. She did a good job. And now it's break time. So it's beer 30. What the boat? She's getting some like vertigo weird motion sickness looking at the clouds going by the boat. It is weird. It's very weird. If you've never had your boat up on the hard, the wind blows, the boat shakes a little bit, and then the clouds, it kind of does give you, plays with your mind a little bit. So, well, as you can see, another not beautiful day here in the boat yard. Uh, we just can't catch a break with weather. It's um we had a couple nice days last week and helped dry out a bunch of these blisters, but rainy and cold and <clears throat> just ugly weather. Not a good time to be trying to do this stuff. But um, boat yard's getting it done. Um, like I said, we have to work, so they're doing all all the blister repair for us. They started getting a bunch of these little small ones filled in. But you can see just how massive some of these turned out to be. I mean, just huge blisters. And a lot of them, you can look right here, they were old blisters that were fixed before and like the repairs failed, um, like water got back into them. And you can see where there was old fairing right here, old fiberglass put over top of the original. And that's almost what all these blisters are. This one right here is really clear. Fiberglass resin, original. Looks like some filler and then fairing. So it just looks like a lot of the old repairs failed on us. Um, the repairs were done a long, a long time ago. So technology, epoxy and stuff, and probably came a long way since then. But yep, that's where almost all of our blisters are from. Um, here's another one, clear as day, huge, huge one. But you can see the old repair right here and it just failed. That's almost what all of them are. I mean, I'm sure there's a few new ones like this one. It looks like it was just new. I don't see where there was any repair work done there. But here's another one. You can see repaired and created a new blister. So this thing's just massive. Um, I don't know if this was an old repair or not because everything's so ground out so far. I mean, I'm a big guy. That's two handfuls. So you can see they start filling in a lot of them already. All these little ones that really weren't... I'm not going to say they weren't blisters, but it was more just like wasn't really into the fiberglass just like the very top layer of the barrier coat um but they sanded them out a little bit and just um filling them with a uh, thickened epoxy but and again another one see the old repair new blister so almost all these are old repairs that just didn't hold up so on this side of the boat though it's a lot worse than what we first thought um this side of the boat was really really bad and i don't know why this side was so bad but old repair blister old repair blister this one can't tell it's huge huge this one's still a little sappy here's some of those like we were talking about they're not really just in so they're just thickening those all these ones that they got circles around so they're not real like blister blisters but some of them are really big guys here's another one that really didn't get in too far but you can see the old repair so and then this thing right here these are our two biggest blisters this thing is a monster you can tell there was old repairs in it and it just they failed and it just created a monster of a blister um this one we actually just found um we were going through it and it was really hollow sounding um so they decided to hit it with the grinder a little bit and just water that nasty stuff started spewing out um same with this thing this thing was huge you can actually see where it all came out this thing was a monster. So 
rather long one back there. And we had a, again, old repair, new blister. So look, old repair. But that's all right, getting it done, getting it done. Um, Boat Yard yeah, Pelicans Perch here in Pensacola, they're doing a great job. Um, don't really know what else to say. They're gonna, they're getting it all knocked out. They're treating us right here. I'm glad we came here. They're not, I mean, they've went through the bottom of this boat multiple times and just every time they find one, they're taking care of them for us. So the bottom of the boat's gonna be like brand new. It's not gonna be, it's gonna be brand new. I mean, there's gonna be so much new fiberglass on the bottom of this thing. Um, so really happy about that. Rudder repair is all done. Getting it done, hopefully. We're going on over three weeks already. This week's gonna be four. So we're gonna be about five weeks in the boat yard. Um, that's with me working on it and the yard working on it. So I couldn't imagine if I was trying to do this all by myself. But I don't know, I guess if I was doing it all by myself, I could just work all day long and just focus on this. I know they have to do other things, so. But that's all right. It is what it is, but y'all, we're getting it done. We'll get some more um, video once they start getting some more of these blisters filled in. And another thing we found on the boat. So you can see some all this stuff that they're just kind of filling in. But another thing we found on the boat at the very bottom, there was a bunch of delamination down here. You can just see it right there. So we started messing with it and we found a hole. There was just a massive hole in the bottom of the keel. And like they had, um, I don't know if it's a factory drain hole or what, so we're gonna end up putting a plug in it, but right now we're just trying to get water out of it. Um, as soon as we think we got all the water out, it starts dripping again. I don't know if it's dripping down from the top of the bilge or what, so um, I keep cleaning it because there was a little bit of oil and diesel mixed up in there. I guess over, I guess over 50 years of um, being in the bottom of the keel, it just added up. So we've been kind of flushing it out with acetone, trying to dry up everything and cleaning it. And I've got the shop back down here. I've been sucking out through this hole and I'm gonna go up top and I'm gonna start I'm vacuuming out the very bottom of the bilge. So any water that might still be standing in there, we can get out and hopefully that uh, get this done. And we got the brass plug. So next time we haul out, we can just open up that plug and we shouldn't have to worry about the boat ever filling up with water, so yeah. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. So, and that's where we're at. Buy an old boat, they said. <laughs> but we love the old boat. I'm glad we're getting it fixed. A lot of time, a lot of money, but it's going to be worth it in the end. So my, my spirits are starting to feel a little bit better now. Um, I was so dumbfounded at first and heartbroken. I still am. I didn't expect it to be this bad, but I feel a lot better about everything now. So we're getting it done and looking forward to eventually sailing again, y'all. Um, much rather be doing a video of me sitting on the beach, drinking a beer, floating around in a dinghy and just enjoying life than this, but you can't have the goods without the bads, right? So, and if you do have all goods, you never appreciate them without these bad times. So when we're sitting there on the beach, this is going to make it that much better. Just remembering all this. So, all right, guys, that's probably going to be it today. I might do. Yeah, that's probably just going to be it today. You guys don't need to see me vacuuming out the bilge. So just a little update for y'all and guys, I appreciate it and keep watching.